Since I've been working on the flywheel recently, I thought I would give a demonstration exactly why I'm so worried about it. So this is it without a flywheel in sort of its base configuration. There's the crankshaft and the pitman arm pulling it up and down as the uh, lever moves up and down. But see what happens when we... So that's fine to this part of the stroke because of course we have a lot of... We're pulling up or we're pushing down um, against the lever of the crankshaft nicely. But at the top and bottom, we can't anymore because now we're pushing straight down in line with the crankshaft or pulling up straight down, straight in line with the crankshaft. So the only way for that to get around is it needs to have some amount of inertia to keep pulling it around. So if you see in the base mode here, what happens when I try and get across the top? So it works, but only very, very kind of doesn't really work very well at all. Um, it stalls out, it has this huge clank, which is really unpleasant, and half the time doesn't even get around at all. So obviously we need more rotational momentum there to pull it around, and that's what a flywheel is for. So this is the flywheel that I added mostly as an experiment. I had a version like this on last year with much shorter arms. The uh, the decking wasn't cut out here, so they could only come out to there. So the the lead weight was just like right here. Um, but so earlier this year, I added, I cut out the deck and added these much longer offsets for these lead weights, um, five pounds each. And it helped a lot, as I will now demonstrate. No annoying clank, no stop, no problem getting across the top and bottom. So that was really good. But of course, the Kalamazoo isn't running right now. It's up on blocks, as you can see. So there's, there's no resistance. This is literally the easiest it could be to pump this. And on road tests, it definitely helped. It helped a lot. Um, but there was still some difficulty with the top and bottom. So I've, so I knew this wouldn't be good enough and I wanted to add more weights on. And with a flywheel, what you're, what you're going for is rotational inertia, which is a function of mass, but it's also a function of the radius out from the pivot, from where it's spinning about. So just adding more lead weights in here and here um, wouldn't be as efficient, um, and also would start to, the, the, this is just half inch um, alter, it would start to, to bend a lot if I did that. So I had to come up with a real flywheel finally. Also, I wanted something that looked better. This is kind of ugly. So here, finally, is the flywheel I just finished making after thinking about it for quite some time. It is an octagonal ring of three-quarter inch tube stock, um, welded up, and it then clamps onto the crankshaft with some U-bolts, which means that I can take it off separately and work on it and doesn't generally doesn't become a giant unmanageable mechanism. It now has four lead weights bolted to the outside, so that alone makes it twice as good as the previous flywheel, but of course you also have this ring now, which doesn't weigh a whole lot, but it's all at a large radius out from the crankshaft, um, so its flywheel effects are even more so. This is sort of a temporary mounting for the lead weights. I think I'll probably recast them later in the summer to make something a little bit more conformal they can mount on the outside of the ring, which will improve the effects that much more and generally look a lot nicer. Um, I also might go from four to six um, of these blocks, but if I get it up to speed, this is a good flywheel. I'm happy with this. It takes quite, a, it actually takes effort now to stop it when it's moving. I can actually just Right now I'm only pumping on the downstroke. It's carrying itself entirely through the cycle without any problems. Now again, this is with the Kalamazoo up on jacks, so it's not a representative test, but I think this is gonna work a lot better when we do do a road test later in the week. And that's the flywheel. Um, hopefully all the results from the, from the road test when it happens. And uh, catch everyone later.